Hey, I'm Miss Jane and this is my assistant Kylan and we are going to show y'all how to paint a unicorn. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is tone the canvas. So that means paint it one whole color. So Kylan's going to do pink for this one because we're doing a really fun painting and it would be fun to have a, a bright color underneath the whole thing. This doesn't mean that um, pink is going to be the background color. We're just wanting to paint the whole thing pink in the sides to kind of prime it and then to add a fun color that will pop out underneath. And she's just doing it nice and smooth. You just don't want any clumps of paint. Um, it doesn't have to be perfectly solid. Just want to cover, cover the white and get a good first layer on there. So we are ready to draw. We're using um, kind of this image. We're just gonna to base our our drawing off of. Um, all right. So Colin's gonna start with just a circle for the head. Yep. Make it just a, a little bit bigger. Make it go like kind of come like that. Yeah. All right. Because it has this nice little jaw thing. All right, and then show them how we um, how we kind of fix that if we mess up the chalk. You can take this brush. So, if you mess up, all you have to do with the chalk is kind of take a brush with just a little water on it, and it is gone. All right, nice. All right, so then we're gonna do our ear. Very nice. Yep, nice swoopy hair. And then start, yeah, down the back. So make a couple like sections of that hair. Good, and make it go even bigger. Let me show you. So make it go even bigger. Exaggerate it just a little bit more. And this is fine because now you have just streaks of hair. Alright, good. Yeah, and keep coming down this way. Good. A little more swoopy. And then give that, yeah. Ooh, that was a good one. That nice swoop at the end. Perfect. Alright. Then. Add our neck in. Very nice. Okay, let's scoot her neck back just a little bit and it could come down back there. So she has a nice kind of, because uh, unicorns horses have a nice kind of long nose. And so we don't really need to put the eyes and nose in yet because we'll kind of paint over those first. So now let's start picking out what colors we need. So for our main body, we'll have, what color do you want to use? I guess just white. White. All right. And then pick a couple colors um, for her hair. So you definitely, this is when you can change it from the picture we're looking yeah. at. Yeah, we can mix the white and, and the horn. What is your favorite color? Um, pink and then this kind of color blue. 
Yes, I like the bright colors. That's probably my favorite part about painting is getting to use the colors. Because sometimes I wake up and I'm like, I want to paint something pink. And so then I paint a bunch of zinnias. Yeah. Oh yeah, use that yellow. Maybe just kind of a full green. And you, and you can definitely mix too. Alright, so I think that's good to start us yeah. off with. So we just picked a couple really pretty um, blues, greens, pinks, just, you know, basic unicorn colors. Um, so what we want to do to start for painting is we want to do our, our biggest thing first. So we're going to do the white of the unicorn. Alright, so get a kind of big brush. You can use this one as so it won't get um, pink on the white. Good, so we're just kind of filling in our unicorn. Neck, and then we'll do the nose, the head, and the eyes. All right, and if you need a little bit more water, if it's um, hard to pull across, and if it's uh, too, like if it's running down the page, then you're using a little too much water. So you just gotta figure out a good consistency. All right, and Kai, go ahead and get that ear. All right, and let's make her, um, let's make her face, oh, that's okay. So what happens when you accidentally get a little pink in the white? Um, well, so we just gotta let it dry. Yeah, so let it dry, this is, Sometimes I'll just kind of do that so it'll dry faster. But this, this is good to show people what happens if you get pink in there. So we're gonna let it dry like that. So we're gonna reach a light pink unicorn. But what I want you to do is, let's make her nose just a tad more. So it's like her head comes down. I think her nose needs to be just a little bit more up there. And so then this will be like, see that line right there? So that's like her uh, jaw. Good. And yeah, now you can paint over that a little bit as you fix that. Yeah, there we go. So if you ever mess up, all you have to do is just kind of wipe it away. Let it dry a second. And then we're going to come back and paint over this a second layer. So it won't even matter. So let's go ahead and let that part dry. Maybe put a little more white like right here. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so then get a, a little bit smaller brush and let's start filling in the uh, chunks of hair. So, Dig into those colors and just, you can, however you want to put them together. This is where you can really have fun, where there's no rules. Good, and make sure to, can I see your brush? Make sure for all this hair, it's going to be voluminous and, and cur cur curly, curvy. So draw, yeah, instead of straight lines, draw kind of big waves.
good. So Kylan is doing all the hair that she wants that color blue, and then she'll switch to another color and do a couple until it's all filled in. garbage truck mm -hmm. through our video. <laughs> All right, good. And so as she's putting this on, there's some spots as it's drying, you can kind of see these streaks. And we are not going to worry about that right now because we're going to do a second layer and all those streaks will disappear. So this is just the first layer. We're just kind of putting our colors down and figuring out where everything goes. So you'll do a little bit more on the hair and then, um, then what will we do next? And then we will do Hang on, I cannot hear anything you're saying. <laughs> So look, when you do this part, right here, this hair, bring it down just a little bit more so you have that cute little ear. Yeah. So paint over just this little spot of white. Right. So make it like this whole section. Oh, I'm really, look I'm really liking how that's looking. So this is one whole thing. Good. Yeah, so now... The unicorn's ear is popping out where it should. All right. So maybe now next, the horn. All right, and I even think maybe we take this and make it a little bit longer. So we use most of the canvas. Let's take and stretch out the horn, like maybe to like right here. All right, and then do those little lines that are inside of it. So can you fix that, um, the horn, the unihorn, which no one has yet to tell me why these are called unicorns and not unihorns. <laughs> All right, and so then those little, I guess they're kernels. Okay, good. Now, so we can have three different colors, or three or four different colors on that. And so here's a smaller brush to use. And so you're just going to be filling that in. Okay, Kyle, what color are you thinking for the background? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe purple? Purple? 
purple? Okay. Alright, I found a purple, but I don't love it, so I think we should mix up a, a better purple. Nice. Alright, so we're going to let that all dry and start mixing up our background color. Okay, Kaim, what color are you thinking for the background? Hmm. I found a purple, but I don't love it, so I think we should mix up a, a better purple. Nice. Alright, so we're going to let that all dry and start mixing up our background color. I'm just going to slowly bring colors together and see what we get. Go ahead and make a big clump of that. Pull in more pink and purple. So we're just mixing a bunch of colors we already have, but we don't love them, so we're making our own color. Okay, so now you're going to start putting that in the background. You'll get really close to um, your unicorn without painting over it. So it's okay to leave some of these pretty purples. And when you get, um, when you get close to these kind of detail things, make sure you're using a small enough brush. Like right in there, use this brush. Remember, it doesn't have to be solid. We want some of that pink to show out. Alright, good. And while you have that small brush, go ahead and go around these waves of the hair. Good. Yep. Pick up your brush every time you turn the corner. Alright, so yeah, you got all the good detail parts, and I'll take a little bit bigger and, and fill in that rest. Kind of crosshatch and let some of that pink show through, kind of randomly. Yeah. Kind of try to move in the direction it's going. It comp you complement the shape by painting around it nicely. And you have to do this too with your hand. <laughs> There's a bug. 
He's stuck. I don't know. Uh oh. Sorry. He just wanted to be the eye. <laughs> All right. So this is a good, really good first layer for our painting. So it's still a little scratchy, but we want it all to kind of dry so we can go back and pop everything out and make everything look great. Cool. All right, so now we're gonna start on our second layer. Everything's nice and dry. We took a little break. Everything's nice and dry. And so you can see that the paint. Say, hey, you're on the video. <laughs> okay, so it's a little, everything's a little bit scratchy, but that's perfect. That's how we want it. So now we're gonna go back over it, and as you go back over it, it's gonna be more solid and, uh, and white like we want it but we just had to give it a little rest. It's important to let paint rest in between. If you put too much paint on and keep putting it on, then you'll eventually start unpainting and you'll start painting the paint off of the canvas. So good, so when you're doing this head, try to get that nice jawline underneath and it's nice like curve of the nose. Yeah, that's looking good. All right, and then take um, a small brush and go over that ear, or or hold it hold it that skinny way like you're doing. You can use that brush. Yeah. So as long as you hold that brush to the skinny side, it makes perfect skinny lines. Very nice. All right. All right, so now what do we go to next? What did we do after we did the white? Now, um, we uh, can do the pink and the ear. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and do that. So kind of a small brush. Oh, and you've got pink over here too. Mm. Maybe add just a tiny more white so it's real white. Nice. All right, so now let's go to the hair. And so this is the fun part because we get, we're gonna now use the same colors we did before, but plus a little white. All right, so. Which one? Yeah. So now go back to the your colors and you know maybe so put put some teal down or the light blue and then kind of add a, a little bit of white so it changes just a little bit so it kind of pops out and do it like it's kind of like hair you know. All right, so now we're starting on the hair, the second layer of the hair. And so this is when we're kind of more highlighting the hair. We're not painting over everything we just did. So Kylan's mixing up a, some pretty lighter blues. Good, and think about how the hair would, would flow. Oh, that was very nice, that one. I like that a lot. So I think this looks good. So now let's make this come into this section. So kind of do that, grab grab more of this uh, purpley color and, and do that, add those highlights.
yeah and go even go even past so like, like this and let it go just a little little bit more Right, so what about this guy next? Do this green and make it go real curvy there and then kind of flow into the other colors. And it's okay to kind of, sometimes I have to like plan out what I'm doing by just like pretending to paint it, you know? So you're allowed to do that. And, and on this one, let's get it just a little bit more on the neck, maybe down here. Okay, you're gonna do a big swoop up here. Nice. Yeah, here, let me see. To do at least kind of one big. All right, so I like that. I like that. This is this is nice. Maybe a little lighter pink on top there, and then maybe a little more purple. Here, try this brush. It's a little bit smaller. So she was using this one, and show which one you're gonna use now. So. Sometimes you gotta figure out which brush works for you. Cause Kyla is good at, about using um, this one so you can be fat and skinny, but when you have to do kind of curves, it's a little harder to control. that pink. That's how we kind of blend it. And then do a big swoop of pink down there. Yeah, even the dark. Grab some of that dark too. This would be a really, really pretty pinata. <laughs> Except I guess that you would have to hit it and that wouldn't be that fun. this to be so if this is going to be like the last piece of hair right here let's make sure it's got like a nice like swoop or you know kind of something going on there do kind of a second layer to the horn now. To the corn. <laughs> Just kind of second layer. Things show up better. Paint over them. I like that. It's nice and bright. Brush. 
All right, so next let's do the, um, after you're done with that horn, we'll do that, the closed eye and like the mouth and the nose. And we've got our teeny tiny brush. All right. And what color do we need for the eyes and the nose? Um, I mean, the nose on this is just a really bright pink and then black, black. for the eye. Okay. This is really looking good. Alright, so do you want to do um, a little chalk of where the eye will go? I wouldn't do the eyelashes, I would just do the little, the, the, the half circle, and maybe the mouth. Oh, well, perfect. Sweat. <laughs> that's okay. That's a perfect line you made. <laughs> so then do the mouth too. So you'll do that one more. All right, perfect. All right, so take your little brush. And here's your black. And so make sure when you get paint on your, on the black, oops, so we want it nice and smooth. Yeah, sometimes we roll it. Can you roll it on there? So sometimes we'll roll it like that to get the extra off. Take our time. We're not going to be able to do it in one swoop, so you got to come back for more paint. Good. All right, and then you can do the little lashes. All right, so the one last thing I think we need to do is one more layer on the background. I want that really to pop out. And I'll help you go for it. So, are you still liking the purple? Yes. Okay. So, we're just going to kind of take the purple and, you know, on this unicorn horn, we can kind of clean that up. Make sure it's going straight. Oh, no! <laughs> Two man team, we got it. <laughs> and then I think right here, <laughs> make her face just to go down just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, she looks sweet. What's her name gonna be? Rainbow corn. Rainbow corn. <laughs> like rainbow carrots. Have you ever had rainbow carrots? No. Alright, look, let's make her neck go in just a tiny bit, like right there. So paint that purple. Nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. Very pretty. Alright, what do you think, guys? 
pretty done. Yeah. It's good to me. All right, so at the very end, we always sign our initials. And so Kai has a really cool signature so she can she can show you what color do you want to do it in. So you want to put it down either here or maybe here. So pick a pretty color that was in here to put it real small in the corner. I usually say sign on this side, but you got a lot going on there. and show us. All right, thanks for watching our YouTube video. Show us your unicorns. And like and subscribe and check back in for new videos. See ya.